shut up and sit down. Hi everybody, this is Tony Day, and uh, this I guess will be my second video about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K version. Um, last time we talked about SD cards and uh, basically memory storage, but this time what I wanted to do is talk about power options because I've seen people saying, you know, hey, I'd really like to buy this thing except for, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of battery life is a deal breaker. And, it, you know, that's really weird to me because I know that, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour is not that much time for some people. I mean, I come from like when I was in school, we shot 16 millimeter film and you had to, you know, load it and unload it in the dark bag and it was a hassle, like far more than any kind of battery ever would be. So, I mean, I just don't worry about that kind of stuff if I'm shooting like a movie, but um, I can see why people would want longer battery life, especially if you're doing it all in like one, doing one take. And that would be definitely important for if you're doing interviews or if you're shooting events and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't worry about not being able to do those things. Um, so what I want to do is I want to talk to you about different power options and how it would be available. And also I wanted to show you, uh, I'm pretty sure your favorite thing so far on my channel, which is math, um, to figure out how much battery life you can expect out of different batteries that you can use with this camera. And really, if you follow the same principles, you can figure it out with any camera. Okay, so what I'm doing is uh, here's, you know, obviously the Blackmagic Pocket and this is the LPE6 battery. If you look here, it says flexible power options, battery, DC, and USB-C, so you can shoot all day long. Now, if you're like I know many people are going to be, USB-C is going to be out because you're going to be using that for SSD and linking it up with the USB, so obviously this isn't looking like it'll be what you're going to want to use. So you'll probably end up using just the regular batteries um, or the uh, DC power connector. Now, I know that some people have thought, you know, oh, is it just going to charge the battery in the camera or can it be used? Well, according to the website, if you look, uh, if you look there, it says you also get a locking DC power connector so it can't be accidentally disconnected in the middle of a shoot, right? And it says that the included volt plug pack can be used to simultaneously power the camera and charge the LPE6 battery. So if this like any other camera I'm aware of that when you have a, an external um, power supply connector, you can basically use batteries to kind of adapt it to that camera. So if you're creative, you can go in, online and find different um, battery adapters that will plug into that. I know people have done that with the Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema Camera, the original one. Uh, one of my friends mount a V-mount battery to that thing and use it for uh, short films and stuff like that. So I know that it's possible with that one, so I don't see why it wouldn't be possible with this one. Let's say you were to want to do that. How much battery life can you expect if you were to get a different battery okay so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually look at some of the different options that might be available a quick search turned up this L series um, battery this is a Anton Bauer NPF 976 so I just want to point out that you're gonna see some products whatever like I'm not saying to buy them I'm just showing you them as an example okay so uh, here we have an Anton Bauer NPF976, uh, blah, 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 right? All this stuff. So a lot of this stuff is important, um, but the important thing is to look at it. It's an L series. So if you're going to use this battery, you'll need an L series um, adapter that will basically have a DC um, uh, connector. You know, you're just looking at it and you're going, well, how much juice am I going to get? You know, like I see that it's a battery. It's you know, likely bigger than the LP E6, but like how much more am I going to get for it if I'm going to go through the hassle of adapting it and trying to mount it to my camera, etc. right? So what we have to do is actually a bit of math to figure that out, okay? So uh, we're going to go down to the specs and we're going to look at the important things. So if we look down this, we see some very important things. We see that it's an L series, so that's a kind of uh, connector uh, plate that you're going to need for it. Um, you know, lithium ion, it's uh, got 47 watt hours, a 6600 milliamp hours, uh, 7.2 volts. Uh, so, I mean, this is all important, right? Uh, especially the weight, if you're going to put stuff on gimbals and all that, right? So the weight's important, okay? The important things that we want to look at are the capacity, the amp hours, and the voltage. Now, 
Um, technically, you only really need one of these things, but I like to have all the other information to make sure that the math all works out, uh, which, I, I mean, I won't show you, but it, I mean, it all, just look it up. Um, it m makes sense when you try to calculate how did they get this, how did they, you know, based on, basically based on these two things, how do you get the watt hours? And if you want to know more about that, obviously, you know, look into it. Okay, so here's the LPE6 from Blackmagic Design. I'm assuming that they're using their own LPE6 batteries. You know, it makes the most sense. Um, there are LPE6Ns, but this is a, like, they literally use a, they say LPE6 as their test batteries. So, um, and again, Blackmagic Design, why wouldn't they be using their own batteries, right? So we go to the spec list and we can see the same kind of stuff as the Anton Bauer, right? We can see 14.8 watt hours, blah, 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 all the same stuff. Um, why BNH decides to put these all in different orders, I don't know. So this is all really important for us to figure out what's going on. If we go to the tech specs on the Blackmagic website, we can see battery life, approximately 60 minutes recording at 24 frames per second without any external USB-C device connected. Basically, what this is saying is that uh, the maximum, as far as I can tell, is 60 minutes, okay? So if the maximum is 60 minutes, I'm going to assume that most of your batteries are not going to last this long. It means like, it, as far as I can tell, it's going to go until it dies, and that's not a good thing for your batteries, okay? So we can assume like about 80%, about 80% of the battery is how far you want to push it because then you're you know of course risking it going dead on you while you're shooting but at the same time the if you use a battery all the way till it's dead it dies faster okay uh, meaning that the battery will not hold a charge as well later on down the road so um what i did read from black magic design on um i think it's bnh their reviews of the, the there's like the q a they do talk about how it's about 45 to 60 minutes so that sounds about right we're going to use a minimum of 45 and a maximum of 60 to see what you can get out of your batteries okay so that's our given is that it's about 60 minutes about 45 minutes so between 45 and 60 minutes sounds about right okay so here we are in excel and you can do this in google sheets as well so it shouldn't be any different and what we're doing is we're going to create a chart that can do all the math for us so we don't have to use calculators and crap, right? We can just, you know, write in the formulas here so you can see what's going on. So here we have the Blackmagic LPE6 as our main battery. Um, we want to find out what the minimum draw and the maximum draw is going to be in watt hours. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a second. We have the watt hours, we have the volts, and we have the uh, amp hours. So again, from Blackmagic Design, and again, this is from a question, uh, I think it was on BNH, but the Blackmagic Design expert said 45 minutes to an hour on one battery, which like I said, 80%, this is 75%, totally makes sense. Um, so we're basically getting about 45 minutes to an hour of battery life for one of these LPE6 batteries, okay? So, um, you know, all of these values have all been pulled straight from the spec sheet okay um, we won't really need these two but this one is the most important okay so what we want to do is find out what the draw is we want to know how much uh, basically how many watts are being drained per hour so this data will actually help us with the other batteries we want to figure out um, because it'll tell us what the draw is going to be at the minimum or maximum and uh, how much battery life we can expect. What I'm gonna do is to figure out the maximum draw. This one should be pretty easy, honestly, if you do it in your head, uh, because it's one hour and this is watt hours, so obviously it should be 14.8, okay? But just to check our math, we're gonna do that. So it's gonna be, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it equal, uh, so this is making a formula within Excel, we'll have it equal the watt hours divided by one and that gives us 14.8 pretty obvious right so we're going to do the same thing here except for we're going to divide the watt hours by the minimum okay so that will be the watt hours divided by the minimum and so we get 19.73 at the minimum 14.8 at the maximum okay so again this is how much 
power is being drawn per hour from the battery. And it makes sense, right? 14.8 watt hours being drawn uh, from a 14.8 watt hour battery and it's gone in an hour. Totally makes sense, right? I hope you guys are understanding that th that's, how, that's why this you know basically works out. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take an, uh, a Sony L-Series battery and a uh, Watson Pro V-mount battery and what we're going to do is we're going to compare how much battery life we should be able to get out of these. Um, so keep in mind that as we go down on this particular list, it's the lightest to the heaviest. Okay, so we've got a lightweight one that goes right right inside the camera. We've got a middleweight one that you can attach like to the top or the side of uh, of a cage, and then we've got the V mount that usually gets attached like on a rail system. Okay, so. Um, because these are basically what the camera's doing um, to the battery, these values should not change. The, the, the camera's going to be pulling this much uh, power as it goes. So um, these should remain the same values. So the next thing we want to do is pull this information from our sheets. Right? So for amp hours, you don't really need it, but I always like to have all the information that, I'm, that I might need. So it's basically um, this, if you're seeing it in milliamps, um, milli, okay? So you gotta divide it by a thousand, so it should be 6.6. .6. So we can actually just do it here, obviously 6,600 divided by 1,000, and we get 6.6, .6, okay? If you look here, you can already kind of guess how much more power you're gonna have, okay? If you just looked at the watt hours, and it, you know, you can obviously see that this, this Anton Bauer NPF, it, it's gonna have a lot more juice in it, but how much? And this is where the, the volts are actually important because these two numbers make this number, okay? It's basically these two multiplied create the watt hours. If you don't believe me, we'll just do it real quick. 7.2 and then we'll multiply by 6.6 .6, and we get 47.52. So close enough, right? So that's basically how these relate. Okay, so the volts and the amp hours, you multiply those together to get the watt hours. Okay, if you don't have the watt hours for some reason, which you should. So now we want to find out the minimum and maximum in hours. So how do we do that? Well, remember what we did before was we divided the watt hours um, by however much time you could get per charge, okay? So we've got to basically do um, uh, the same thing but different. We've got to do it the other way around, right? So basic algebra, okay? So first we'll calculate the minimum and we're gonna divide that, uh, we're gonna divide the watt hours by the minimum draw, okay? So this cell divided by this cell, and we get about 2.4 hours, okay? The next one we're gonna do is the max. We're gonna divide the watt hours by the maximum, and we get about 3.8 two hours. So, I mean, we're going to do another one, but I, I, I hope you can see how this is working out. You know, everything has to be in relation to what they originally gave us because that tells us basically the amount of draw that you can expect. Okay. And these are ballpark figures. Obviously when this thing comes out, people like run it depending on what battery you buy. You know, some batteries are better like rated, I guess, with these numbers than others. I have batteries that are supposed to be the same, but they vary um, probably by use, probably by the way it's manufactured. I don't know. Um, but this should give you a ballpark figure of what kind of power you can expect. You go, oh, well, if I'm using this Anton Bauer, I can expect about three times uh, better battery life as far as how long it lasts. But again, it also is going to be heavier, right? And you also have to attach it. So it's kind of a trade-off, okay? So let's do the V-mount um, battery also, just so that we can have three. And then I will show you a proof. Uh, it, I won't do all the math for it, but y you can do it yourself and it'll show you that this stuff all works out, okay? So here we go. We've got the Watson Pro 14.8 volt 97 
watt hour lithium ion battery. So if you read that and you understand the math that we did previously, you're probably like, wow, that's gonna give us a lot more um, battery life, right? So we've punched in our data and just looking at this, you should be able to kind of get an idea of how much more power you should be able to get out of this Watson Pro compared to the Anton Bauer, right? So again, it's not just like the amp hours, it's also the voltage that's important and the watt hours are determined by those. So even though they've got the same amp hour, this is why it's important not just to look at this figure, okay? You've got to look at this one and uh, look at, or look at both of these together, okay? To get what's going to probably happen. So, I mean, I'm gonna make the assumption that I, we should get double the battery life out of the Watson Pro compared to the Anton Bauer, just because the voltage is like, you know, huge. And then of course, you've also got how in the watt hours, you can see it's almost double. Okay, we're going to basically just pull this down, which will uh, translate the information and voila, we've got, uh, like I said, about double um, the battery life out of the V-mount compared to the Anton Bauer. Okay, again, these are ballpark figures. They may not be 100, 100% accurate to what you're gonna get, but they should give you a feeling of how much more battery life you can get, assuming that adapting these should be possible, which again, according to my information from what I know and from my previous experience working with a bunch of different cameras, you can adapt uh, power. So you should be able to do this. Um, and just in case you were thinking that I'm crazy and that I made this up like, and I'm full of crap, let me just show you here. Um, what I did was uh, I took the same math that I was doing just to check myself and make sure that what I was doing was correct. I took the information from Red's, uh, Red Camera's website about their Red Volts and the Red Brick and um, I just did the math also. So here's the website, okay? You've got the Red Volt, the Red Volt XL, the Red Volt V, and the Red Brick, and it gives you the runtime, okay? So basically I had to go find these online and get all the other information, but I did this just so I could prove that if you look here, like I said, you're going to get pretty much the same results, okay? The only one that's a little off is this one. I'm not sure why, right? But like I said, they're ballpark figures. You, you know, 1.2, 1 1.5, eh, you know, it's close. I would say, you know, close enough. It, it's close enough. So this should be proof enough that I kind of know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, at least enough for you guys to be able to use this to calculate how much battery life you can expect out of any kind of batteries you want to get. Um, again, you know, use this information, please, uh, let me know below if something's confusing to you. I know it's math. I know it's can be heady, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to just really give this sheet to everyone because I feel like you should learn it yourself and understand it completely. So you can do it without people telling you what to buy, you know, um, going online and asking a stranger to tell you what stuff to buy is, it's just not something I like to do, um, personally. And I think it leaves you at the mercy of whoever it is to give you that information. If you use this, okay, use the math that I showed you, come back, watch this as many times as you need to to understand it. Um, you should be able to build your own sheet and do the math to figure it out. You know, math works out with the red, should work out here. Um, and if you do, again, if you do have any questions, please uh, ask below. Maybe other people can help you out. Hope you learned something from this and uh, I'll see you next time.